Hi guys, welcome back to our channel. Today I am going to teach about how to draw the Euler's graph on stick diagram for corresponding Boolean expressions. So before drawing the Euler graph on stick diagram, first you draw the CMOS logic for given Boolean expression. So in this session I am taking one Boolean expression y equal to a b plus e plus c d the whole board. So before drawing the CMOS logic design, first you recall the rule. So product is present in Boolean expression, PMOS transistor is connected parallel. So plus operator present in the Boolean expression, PMOS transistor is connected series. Likewise, product present in NMOS, Boolean expression, NMOS transistor is connected series. Plus present in the equation, NMOS transistor connected Parallel. So this is the simple rule. Using this simple rule, I am going to draw the logic diagram for this corresponding Boolean expression. So here first term is a b. So here product term is present in the Boolean expression. The p mos transistor is connected parallel. So this one a gate is connected to B. The next operator is plus. Plus means PMOS transistor connecting series. Then next one is CD. So here PMOS transistor is connecting parallel because product is present in the Boolean expression. So this one is connected to here. The terminal name is C and D. This one we did. So for I draw the pulled up network for this Boolean expression. Now I am going to draw pull down network. Here first expression is A B. A dot B dot present in the Boolean expression N most ancestor is connected in series. input of the transistor is A and B. The next operator is plus, plus in the sense NMOS transistor connecting parallel. So it's E. The next operator is plus, so plus means it's connecting parallel. Here the equation is C dot D. These two transistors are connected in series because in the Boolean expression dot operator is present. The input of these two transistors C and D. Now I connect pull up network on pull down network. So width of this point I get the output. So this is the simple structure for the Boolean expressions. So after drawing this logic diagram, now I am going to find the Euler's work for pull down network on pull up network. So in this Euler graph, so any one of the transistor I consider as a starting point. So before that I assign the term source and drain, source and drain, source, drain, source, drain, source, drain. In pull down network, drain source, drain source, drain source, drain source, drain and source. So first I take this A transistor is the starting point. So the Euler path is A, B, E, C and D. So it's the Euler path for the pull up network. The same order only we can follow in this pull down network. So A, B, E, C and D. 
So in which order you follow in the pull up network, the same order you follow in the pull down network. So this is the Euler path for this Boolean expression. The path is A, B, E, C and D. So it's a pull up network. The same path should be followed in pull down network also. A, B, E, C, D. So it's a pull down network. So here the solution is maybe way. So here I am taking A, B, E, C and D. So it's a Euler path. Suppose I am taking the D transistor is a starting in the sense. So D, C, E, B, A. So this solution is also right. So you find any one of the network. Suppose the B network, B transistor is a starting point. So B, E, C, D. So it's not a proper solution because this E node is repeated. So E edges are repeated. So here the Euler's for this A, B, E, C and D. It's a pull-up network. This one is a pull-down network. Now I am going to draw the Euler's graph. So this one. A, B. So it's B, D, D. Then this transistor is E. D, sorry, C and D. The flow of the Euler graph is A, so A to B, B to E, so E to C and finally it reach D. So here, so this point is one node, node number one, this one is two, this one is three, this one is four. So first node is connected to VDD and last one 4 is connect to output. So fourth one is connect to output. So this transistor is called as edges. So each transistor namely called as edge. So this point is called as vertex or node. So this connecting point is called as vertex or node. The transistor is considered as edges. So each transistor considered as edges. So in this Euler graph, node and edges are visited at once. So next I draw pull down network. So in this pull down network also follow the same order. So A, B, A, B, then E, then E, C and D, C and D, so A, B, then E, C and D, so this one connect to output, this one connect to VSS, so ground point. It's a simple diagram for Euler graph for pull down network. Now I am going to draw the stick diagram for the given Boolean expression. So in this Boolean expression, we have a five transistors. So I draw five polysilicon lines. So this red color represent polysilicon. So the transistor is mentioned in the same order. So A, B, E, C, D. A, B, C, sorry, E, C, D. So this green is the P diffusion and N diffusion. So it's a P diffusion. Then Yang diffusion.
So this blue color represent metal contact VVD and VSS. So now I mentioned the transistor names. So this red color is represent polysilicon. This green color represent diffusion. When the diffusion layer is cross over the polysilicon here making the transistor here forming one transistor. So this transistor is called as P MOS transistor. This one called as N MOS transistor. So here the term start from drain to source. Drain, source, then source, drain, source, drain, then source, drain, drain on source. So now I am drawing this pull down network. So here A transistor start from A transistor. The point is drain, source, drain, source, then source and drain, drain and source, drain and source. Now I am making connection for this thick diagram. Here it is uh, the two source point of A and B is connected to VDD. The two source point of A and B transistor is connected to VDD. You just make one cross. So this cross represent contact. Then the two transistor drain point is connected to source. The A transistor drain and B transistor drain is connected to source of E. So this point. I just make one contact. So this two transistor drain is connected to source point. Then E transistor drain is connected to sources of C and D. So E transistor drain is connected to sources of C and D. So I take here. I just connect this source point. I just make the connection. So it is a pull of network connection is over. Then output you get from both the drain points. C transistor and D transistor drain is connected to output. So this point is connected to output. Now I am going to draw the pull, uh, pull down network. So here the starting point is A transistor drain. So drain of all these three transistor is connected to output. So drain of A. So this A transistor is connected to output. Drain of A and E and C. So this one is E and C. So this two drain point connect to output. Okay. Then the source and drain is connected in series. The source and drain of A and B transistor is connected in series. Then sources of B transistor, E transistor and D transistor is connected to ground. So sources of B transistor and E transistor is connected to ground. Then D transistor source also connected to ground. So it is also connect to ground. Then source and drain of C and D. So C and D sources and drain are connected in series. So drain of all the three transistor is connected to output. So this is the simple structure to draw the Euler curve and stick diagram. So in your examination the Boolean expression alone given so first you read the Boolean expression. So what are the product term present and sum term present? Just you using these two rules. Product term present in Boolean expression, P most transistor connecting parallel plus present in the Boolean expression, P most transistor connecting series. Then you draw the CMOS logic diagram. So after drawing, you find the Euler's path. Then you draw the Euler graph. 
so in this euler graph we get the different types of solutions any one of the solutions you may take so here i am taking a b e c d it's my solution for pull up network the same order i followed in the pull down network also a b e c d then i draw the stick diagram i hope you understand the concept very well if you are watching first time in my video kindly subscribe and support us to make lot of videos thank you